Hello, welcome to this video. This video is just going to be us uh, going through the rest of the Sisters of Eve epic arc. So we're like, uh, not even halfway through, right? 21 out of 52 missions complete. Although it's not too difficult, it hasn't been uh, too difficult at one point. It was just that uh, one mission. The one mission was difficult, that was it. But besides that, they're not too hard. Maybe it picks up after chapter 4 or something. There's a whole bunch of missions here. Chapter 5, 6, 7... So we read it's like the uh, second last mission, right? I wonder if it's uh, this mission that that's going to be the hard one. <clears throat> so we have 21 out of 52. So we probably uh, could just get our alt character into just the uh, destroyer, come here, complete most of them. So let's just accept this one. Right? As if you am fly to the area, you might get surprised by rogue drones. Stay on task though. Alright. <clears throat> says it might be surprised by rogue drones but let's just uh, go there it's not sure if we're gonna record everything right this might just be another easy mission for this ship it could just be because we have tech 2 drones and it's gonna be a uh, harder under all characters if we bring them through here but definitely the uh, first uh, three chapters first three chapters are no problem at all <coughs> <coughs> First three chapters are no problem except that one ship, baby. Except that one, that one uh, mission, right? The one mission. The one mission her ship almost got destroyed. Except it almost get destroyed, right? It's just uh, our shields went out of the shields. That was it. So if Lodge Drones says he's going to surprise us, right? So he did surprise us. He surprised us because it wasn't here when we got here. There's another drone, right? He also surprised us. They said, uh, stay on task. So we're coming from over here, from this uh, hollow asteroids. So we wonder where the rogue drones come from. There's a fourth one, right? There's another one. They just keep coming up. They just keep coming up for the hollow asteroids over there. Another one popped up, right? Look at all of them. So he's ended the mission log. Drones may surprise you, but don't, uh, just keep on task. <coughs> so maybe we can even uh, ignore him or something. Look at all of them. But if we kill all of them, that's like 5,000 for each one, right? Each one we kill, maybe like 8,000. If we manage to uh, kill all of them, 3,000. If we manage to kill all of them, we get that bounty. If we kill all the drones, we get all the bounty for them. But there is a lot of them, right? They just keep coming up. This mission's cool. <coughs> this mission's cool because the drones just keep coming up. Does it say it's up to the local? Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't uh, say anything in here. There's even more drones, right? They just keep coming out. Do they keep coming out forever? Look how close these ones are. 25 kilometers. Look at all the drones. Look at all of them. <clears throat> so we're still like 38 kilometers away from this thing. We don't exactly have a fast ship or anything, right? This ship is really, 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 really slow. 458. That's really slow. It's a slow ship. But we can have our drones around us. <clears throat> Look at them. They're still coming up, right? This thing's still going to go down or what? Is that it? Maybe just fill the screen completely with them? drag this over or something so we can't quite see the uh oh it's just the velocity that's it show you the velocity so here's the thing right we're getting closer to it so i wonder if we're just supposed to collect them and then dock up so just return to the drone bay <coughs> return to the drone bay then go back There's no way over there. So they don't actually uh, bother you if you don't bother them. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. What if that changes once we loot this? Does it change once we loot the uh, habitation module personnel quarters? Maybe it's out dock. Yeah, they just have dock up. That's it. We don't even have to do anything with the roads. Drones are just doing their own thing out there. So that was it. 
If we come to any uh, mission that's any different, we'll come back, right? It's probably just going to be delivery missions or kill something, something like that. We didn't even have to do combat. If there's missions like that where you don't have to do combat, <laughs> then just don't do combat. Just uh, do the mission by the looks of it. Yeah, see, next one's not too difficult, right? Just go pick this up. We see 50 m through space, right? Set destination here. Drop off location. Add waypoint. So another one of these ones, just think of the last chapter. So all you have to do, a dog from the station. Wait a minute. Why does it say there's stuff in the inventory? Stuff in the M hangar. Dog here. <coughs> it's in the other station. A dock. Go pick up the thing. Come back. That's not too difficult. All right, we're back. <clears throat> so this is pretty much the next mission uh, after we did that one, right? After we uh, picked it up for her, say we could do tracking or scanning. So I guess maybe there's not uh, as many missions. Maybe we could uh, choose. Maybe it's like a branching path or something. So we could uh, choose to track the queen, or we could choose a uh, bag of blood. We choose one of them. So choose bag of blood, right? Oh, it shows you on the right here. Okay, when you click on them, it shows you. Get the scope reporter out of the Boros League space and destroy his captors. Pick up location, drop off location. Transport these goods. That's it? So consider we could uh, destroy his captors. Or we could just go pick up something. I think we're just going to go pick this up, right? Set this station, add waypoint. Yeah, it says we could do, go do a combat mission, go warp somewhere in space, go pick up somebody, go do that. Or we could just go pick up something and bring it back. So let's accept this one. We like this one anyways, right? <coughs> so let's accept this. It says go pick it up, come bring it back. And it just takes uh, one M3, that's it. So let's just go pick it up, we'll bring it back. All right, so here's something we noticed, right? Our drones have taken damage, right? Their armor is a bit down. We might have to repair them, actually. <coughs> so I think we're gonna have to repair them. We just looked at that as we were uh, completing that mission. So it wasn't that difficult at all, right? Planted the body complete. Then the next one is what? Track the drones with the help of Wolf Brigade. All right. So that's what we wanted to do was we just forgot what we were trying to do. <coughs> we forgot why we made the video. We forgot why we started recording. So we're going to do something, right? We're going to accept this one. We have like four hours to complete it. We have four hours to complete it. Is there something we're going to do? <coughs> we're not 100% sure. I guess uh, we just go to the mission, right? So Sisters of Evark, not too difficult so far. Maybe we'll check out the uh, next mission. We'll be back then. We, uh, if we remember what we were talking about. Oh, the drones, that's right. The drones were damaged. The drones are damaged, so we're going to have to repair them. So if we go to the drone hangar here, or we could just, uh, how do we go to the uh, repair system? Go to the right here. Go to the right. Go to the repair shop here. You go to the repair shop. It says that uh, this ship is damaged. Repair item. Does this uh, repair the drones? Oh, it repairs the uh, hobgoblins in there. Yeah. So it's going to cost us $913 to fix it up. Is that just uh, better than better than having to fix the new one? Better than having to buy a new one? So you sit here, hit the repair button, repair anything if it's uh, damaged, and now our uh, drones this should be uh, fully healed. All right. So let's keep going through the uh, sisters, actually. We're going to do something. We're going to go make some food, right? <coughs> so we're going to continue going through the career agent, or the uh, Sisters of Eden agent, right? What are we on now? 26 out of 52? So we're just about halfway then. We're at the halfway point. So we're at the halfway point through Sisters of Eve. And we got another two missions. Then you're going to send us to go somewhere else. This place is actually uh, farther from Jina. This is uh, 15 jumps away. 15 jumps away. So what are the next place is going to be, right? And then when we eventually finish it up, that'll give us a big uh, standing increase towards the uh, faction of our choice. 
that's our uh, <coughs> that's our understanding. We do this, we complete this, we get a faction standing to somebody of our choice. Plus, uh, yeah, these guys still haven't gone up yet, so it just gives you a faction to these guys. That's it. Every mission we've done has just been given us a uh, standing to these guys, which would help if we're trying to uh, sell something at these stations. Actually, I think it uh, shows you right. I think it showed us right there. It shows us what it does. Reprocessing tax reduction. So let's just uh, click on this one, right? Click on Sisters of Eve. Sisters of Eve will collect the lower reprocessing tax of their stations as their uh, station towards you goes up, static towards you goes up. Sisters of Eve will collect a lower uh, broker's fee of market sell orders in their stations as statics goes up. So that's why I want to get uh, standings up with a bunch of uh, people so we can uh, reprocess at their stations. I don't even think that's a <coughs> thing we've ever done. At this thing, just if we're trying to sell something in any of their stations, and you also get a epic arc mission, you also get that drive standings, statics towards you, social skills. So we get a oh, we don't get an epic arc from these people, right? We get an epic arc from a uh, Kaldari and everything. So we just need uh, level three access grant to an epic arc mission on behalf of Kaldari State. We just have to get up to standing level three to be able to do this one. So we're not sure what it is, but <clears throat> we're back. We're going to make some food. Maybe we'll finish the uh, epic arc by the end of the day. All right, so we're back. So we found something. So we had some uh, food. We took a break. So if we uh, continue through the spatial rift, right, we we're looking at the information about it. These natural phenomena that uh, rumors say, just make sure drones are out. Phenomena of that rumor says that will hurt all those that come too close to faraway places. Wary travelers stay away from them as some have uh, ventured too close and have never been seen again. Except he told us to go towards it, right? There was uh, something there, some drone that went into there. <coughs> it was really creepy. So if we go into here, we just activate the afterburner. He's going to tell us to go through here. What does it say? Activate the spatial rift gate. Then we go inside here, and then what? Here's the drone, right? The mysterious drone? There's the mysterious drone we're looking at, right? He's the one we're trying to find. He's the one we're trying to find. He's gone again. He's gone through this one again. Are we just supposed to find him? Chasing the nightmare? Chasing the nightmare. <coughs> Chasing the nightmare. Track the drone with the help of Wolf. Just keeps running away. Just keeps running away. <clears throat> so we haven't uh, had to find anything in this mission, right? This is still just the same thing. Just the uh, second last chapter in chapter four. Second last mission. So I think we're just supposed to go through this thing again then. Turn to drone bay. Then we go through it. We don't even have our afterburners activated, right? So now we get to see what's on the other side of the gate. This spatial rift, right? You just like came here. Then you see them. They just crawled right through this thing. So if we warp here, are we going to see him crawl into the hole again? <coughs> crawl into the spatial rift. You just see him on the map there, right? He's right here. You look at him. They just thought like, keeps crawling away. Keeps going here. Although music has started, right? So it's just another spatial rift he opened. Right? It's interesting. It's like, uh, follow him. Keep following him through this uh, spatial rift that he keeps opening up. So the drone actually uh, opens them up by the looks of it. Then we just follow him. So it's going to be through this one, right? <coughs> Bring the drones back in. Go back in. So you can tell us to keep going in. Follow must be completed. Track the drone. He's not here. The drone's not here. The drone's not here. <coughs> right, you follow him, but he's not here. I've lost the signal. Whatever that thing is, it's a uh, high-tailed it out of here. That's okay. I've got enough data here. I know how to track it. With this, we should be able to pinpoint its exact location. Come on back. All right. Start a conversation with them. 
completely remotely. Oh, we don't even have to go back, right? Request the next mission. So we already have enough to pay for the ship, right? This ship cost us like uh, seven billion. Now we got eight billion. So just from doing these missions, we we're able to pay down our ship, hunt down and remove all the drones in this area. All right. So we accept it. We're up to the location. Now we finally get a battle. <clears throat> now we gotta finally fight something. So this is like the uh, last mission in this series. And then this one, she's probably gonna tell us to go talk to this person and heal up another set of missions. I wonder how close that was gonna be to Jina. She's probably gonna tell us to jump like six or four jumps again, seven or nine jumps. Go to this place. At this warp here, kill everything. I wonder if we have to actually uh, kill everything or we just run through the gate, right? Are you gonna kill things along the way? We're just going to uh, focus on the gate. Drones have escaped through the acceleration gate. Oh, there's the big drone. <coughs> the big drone on the map. He's gone, right? I don't think I would take this out properly. Activate the afterburner, right? We never uh, activate the afterburner for some reason. We never activate it. Let's just return these to the drone bay. We're probably just going to be going uh, through the thing, right? 30 kilometers away. Oh, it's attacking us, right? The drones attack us. The drones are attacking us. So we're going to have to launch the drones. So just going to start flying it, right? Just double click in space somewhere. Double click. You're flying towards it. So let's go back when we uh, go through the gate, maybe. It's not going to be too difficult, I guess. I guess there's going to be nothing here, right? Where is the drone? Is it uh, behind the gate? Probably. <coughs> probably is. It's probably right behind there. We're still 12 kilometers away. So we double click its base to go towards it, right? Don't click in space to fly towards something. That's it. It things fall so quick. This is a combination of the weapons and the drones, right? Why did we start firing? There you go. We're basically by the thing, right? We're sure to drop it. Go through the gate once they're back. There they are. Here it is again, right? There's the mysterious road. Mysterious road, that other gate. Let's just approach the gate. The drone has escaped through the acceleration gate. Follow it. The drone is escaping. So it just keeps on escaping through the gate. Keeps on escaping. Keeps on running, then we gotta catch it. So I guess we might as well take these guys out, right? This was a little bit more difficult, right? They got us uh, down to our shields, down into our armor. I don't think this will actually uh, repair our armor too quickly. Doesn't repair our armor too quickly. <coughs> so I don't forget to be able to go to the last room. So we just uh, dock up at the place, repair our shields, repair everything, and then go fight them? Or can we just fight them like this? The extra shields are all the way down. Shields are all the way down. They like warp scrapple us or something. If they warp scrapple us, <laughs> they'll just be able to kill us. So I have to think about that one. We're out of capacity or two. So we're actually going to have to uh, go dock up at the station. Just go dock up at the station, heal up, get your capacitator back. And then go continue the mission, I guess. We can do that. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to have to do that. We don't have any uh, shield left. We don't have a shield left. So we just uh, don't. We're going to have to go through all those things again. Let's just try it out without it. <coughs> we'll try it without going back. But if we uh, do have to go back. That's not good. If we lose our ship. That's not good. If we get warp scrambled or something. Target jammed. Oh, there's like uh, two, two of them. There's a serious drone. There's some two big drones. Let's just click on the station. I lied to you. never never uh, get the secrets of the rogue roads. Unidentified ship. You'll never get the secrets of the rogue roads. That's what he said. 
We have to be careful here, right? <coughs> we have to be careful. I guess our shields do regenerate. Right? Our shields are uh, regenerating out here. Our uh, capacitors regenerating out here. So stuff uh, does regen while you're out here. Once you get to uh, 35 kilometers, we can attack them, right? Which makes us want to get that drone upgrade just to increase our uh, sending range by 5 kilometers. There they go, right? You check information, right? 5,000. <coughs> How much uh, is this guy worth? 37,000. So imagine that once you actually get up to a bigger ship, maybe running out level 2 missions, then imagine maybe the bounty would be worth even more. So all I need to do is just destroy everything here. Right? They're not even going to attack. These guys don't even attack you. These guys don't even attack. Weird, eh? Or maybe they're attacking the drones. Maybe the drones are under attack. They're attacking the drones. The drones are under attack. So that means you have to go help them, right? We finally got within the uh, 10 kilometer range. We saw this, uh, <coughs> if we were 17 kilometers, we could have been attacking them from back there. We could have been attacking them. So is this it? Yeah, we just destroy them, that's it. This was not too difficult either. There's no reason to even uh, go back up and dock up at the station. Right? Yeah, that's it. That was it. So we're just going to probably repair the drones like we did before. Go dock up at the station. Continue through the thing. She's probably going to tell us to go talk to another agent. What was that? Oh, there's a big explosion, right? We did that. All right, so we just got a little clip, right? So she's going to send us 13 jumps away. So once we get to chapter five, she's gonna send us 13 jumps. So uh, go talk to this person, 13 jumps away. And then it looks like we just uh, head up over there, right? So we're going to like, uh, heck, this is uh, one of the main, this is the main trading hub of the, uh, of the Minimitar. <clears throat> so it looks like we just have to go up over there. So we just, uh, Fly 13 jumps, go to the next person, then we get to the next chapter. Five, six, seven, there's just three chapters left. Yeah, so we just uh, warp there like we always do. So it does uh, make you warp a whole bunch, which is good because you uh, trade skills while you're doing all of this. While you're jumping in between missions, you're trading skills. Alright, we're back. <coughs> so we thought we'd uh, do another clip again. So it's been a while, right? So we uh, got sent all the way over here. So this, uh, this is a big mission. It's actually not too difficult. We haven't had uh, any problem with it. I think it's just going to be this uh, second last mission everyone talks about. Once we finally defeat Dagon, right? Once we uh, find him somewhere over there. So he sends you uh, over here. <coughs> it looks like we're in the Amar system. So for uh, looking where Jidda is, Jidda's uh, like 22 jumps away. Here, fact, that's what I was <clears throat> Jidda's all the way over here, right? 19 jumps. So now he's going to tell us to go all the way over here. So it does take you uh, all the way over to Eden, all the way over here. We were just uh, in Minipatar somewhere, I think. Is this where we were? I'm not even sure. <clears throat> they just took us uh, everywhere. Take you all over the world. And then we go over here. This is our destination, 22 jumps away. 22 jumps away over here. So we're just gonna have to do 22 jumps. Or is that where we're at? 17, 25 pounds. Why does it say 17 jumps away? It says we're doing uh, 22 jumps. So we got uh, 22 jumps. And then we start on chapter 7. So just expect a lot of warping. There's not gonna be too much uh, difficult combat or anything, right? We got our uh, ships in here. Now we just have to jump 22 times. <coughs> 22 times. So just a long chase mission. We could probably, you could probably easily do it on our all characters if the uh, reward is good, right? So we're finally reached the final chapter, 43 out of mission 52, closing in to chapter seven and seven. We just have these missions left. And a lot of them were just like, uh, go talk to this guy. <coughs> Hello, <coughs> go talk to this guy. Go talk to this guy. All the, a lot of them were just talking missions. And then the other ones were just like combat missions, maybe uh, deliver something here. They put something over here. So overall, not too difficult. 
So hopefully, uh, uh, what are these static increases were always going to be, right? Because everyone says, do the Sisters of Arc get the good uh, static increase from them? Get the really good static increase from them. So hopefully the uh, static that we get from them uh, is, hopefully it's worth it. It takes a long time to do all of them. <coughs> it takes a long time to do all the missions. Mostly because we're uh, jumping so much, right? He's like, oh, go to this person seven jumps away. Go here nine jumps away. Go there uh, 21 jumps away. So we'll come back at some point. Maybe we're, when we're at the second last mission or something. Because if we looked at our uh, personal assets, Jinna was like uh, 29 jumps away. So we're like uh, 29 jumps from Jinna. We're like uh, 20 jumps away from our first place, right? Yeah, we're like uh, 20 jumps from here, 29 from here. So we're uh, pretty far away from where we used to be. <coughs> so let's see how far we are when we get this last place. Do this uh, last mission here. Last chapter here. Last chapter. Alright, we're back. So we're just recording a clip. It's been a while since we recorded a clip. So we're doing this mission. These guys got through our shields and they're uh, going through our armor, right? So we gotta watch out. These guys are gonna get us. So we can just uh, like return to the drill bay. We go to the station and dock, right? Dock them at the station if they don't get us. Capacitator's empty. Here goes the ship. Oh, we made it. <coughs> we made it. All right. So it looks like uh, if your ship's about to die, you could uh, try to warp off to a station. We should have been aligning to a station. So this uh, mission is dangerous. This is a dangerous mission. We didn't even get to a warp to there. It's because they had these uh, capacitator draining batteries, <coughs> so they drained your battery. That was close. We almost uh, lost our ship. So we just docked here. <coughs> That's ridiculous. Those guys are so strong over there. This is our uh, good ship, right? We do lots of damage. I don't know if we have lots of uh, healing or not. We got all these things. Our ship's fine, right? We got a uh, 1400. Our uh, hall, <coughs> hall is more us. Uh, more secure than the other thing. Hall has more defense than the armor. So I think we just uh, try to knock up, right? Jeez. Afterburner to go here. That was a close one. We're not even on the final mission yet. We're not even on the final mission yet. So look at our ship, right? <coughs> our ship's just destroyed. Our ship has just about been destroyed. We could have lost the ship right there. We could have lost it. But we actually do have money to replace it, right? We could buy two of these ships at this point. We could buy two of these ships. So it doesn't get hard until this point, right? It's gonna cost like 44,000 to repair it. Jeez. So here it goes 45,000. But it's better than losing our uh, our ship, right? Better than losing this ship. <coughs> so this mission, which one is it? Chapter seven, Chase of the Shadows. So just about near the end, right? Chapter seven, mission four. This is a hard mission. <laughs> this is a hard mission to do. We are just sitting here watching YouTube. We were watching something on YouTube and playing the game, going through the thing. We were gonna come back when we got to the final mission. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to the final mission, right? We got a uh, server shuts down in one hour. Server shuts down in an hour. I don't know how hard that second last mission is gonna be. So let's just uh, do this. We almost lost our ship. We almost lost our ship. <clears throat> so those guys were crazy. So we're probably going to go back to watch our video. And then go back to here, right? So something we could have done was aligned to the station, right? So here's the station here. We click this aligned to button. Aligned to. This way, as soon as we click the uh, warp button, we'll instantly warp out. Instantly warp out. So it'll make it a whole lot safer, right? These guys just do so much damage. This guy isn't even worth any bounty or anything. Let's just take out his uh, minions first, right? Take out his minions. <coughs> take out his minions and then take him out. Maybe that's the plan. So we we're trying to uh, loot things, right? We we're sitting here. We we're trying to loot things. We're like, all right, let's go out and loot everything. Then we noticed that our shields were pretty much almost down. And then we noticed that our armor was going down. And then we noticed that... Uh, we had to put this on, and then we noticed our capacitator was out. So we thought that we weren't going to be able to warp out. So we thought we were dead. <coughs> we thought we lost our ship. 
We thought we lost it. So let's just go loot everything, right? For some reason, we loot everything. It doesn't matter if uh, we're... Oh, no, our drone's gonna go uh, return to the drone bay, right? If our drone's about to die, we return him to the drone bay. Then we send him out, right? Not him. Not the damage one. Then they sent out one of him. We gotta watch our health. We gotta make sure our health's not going down. Uh -uh. So it seems like he's just uh, targeting the drones or something. He was using this thing, cap neutralizer. Yeah, this thing. He's getting us now, right? Christian Pathius. This isn't even the last guy. We have to use our armor repair. This guy's done so much damage. And our uh, tier, tier 2 drones don't even do anything to him. Tier 2 drones don't even do anything to him. Look at this. So we're gonna have to lie to the station, right? Lie to the station. He's so far away, that's why. He's 24 kilometers away, or things aren't hitting him. Passer's empty. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, go back there. Return to the drone bay. You can't take him out. Or maybe the drones could have taken him out. Maybe they'll take him out, right? They're not doing damage to us or anything. Let's go talk up. We got a back drones in space. Are they at the bay? <clears throat> so he doesn't actually do any damage to us. Well, let us warp out. So it just says we can't warp all the way. Just because we can't warp all the way. So he uses this uh, thing. He uses this uh, module. <clears throat> that just raises our capacitator. So that means we can't use our armor repair. We can't use our afterburner. We can't use any of these modules. We can't even fire our guns. We can't even fire our guns on him, right? If we don't have any capacitator, we can't even fire our guns on him. So I guess if uh, we sit out here in space and repair ourselves, it would be cheaper, right? It would be cheaper to repair ourselves than to uh, repair ourselves by going to the station. So I guess we should sit out here, right? <clears throat> 51 minutes. So we're thinking of taking our uh, all characters through. We're not sure yet. It would just be a good way to get a good uh, reputation at the end, I think. It's just once we get to this chapter, it gets a bit hard. So it's just the uh, final chapter. Just the final chapter is difficult. I think uh, the second chapter at a hard mission, maybe chapter 2, chapter 7, we're not even at the uh, hardest level yet. We're not even at the hardest level yet. Yeah, so as long as our shields are repaired, armor is repaired, right? I don't think we're going to be able to work all the way there, right? Point eight you looks like we are able to warp it there. All right, <coughs> so this is our first real difficult mission, right? This is your first hard mission that we're gonna do. And these are uh, drones, the drones don't even uh, do too much damage to them, even though they're tech two. And we're doing like over 150 DPS, right? I guess we can't be here by accident. We can't be here by accident. That's all right. We'll try getting it up, right? <coughs> we got our capacitator back a little bit. So you have to get close to it to actually do damage, right? We have to get within uh, 17 kilometers of them. 17 kilometers to hit them. And we were uh, flying away before, so we weren't even uh, hitting them before. See, so, yeah, this will work. As long as we should get out with the drones and with our weapon, we can come back. We can come back and get them. This is why antimatter sucks so much, right? We uh, literally uh, just got in range to actually be able to use antimatter. But with these uh, uranium charges, look how far we can actually do damage up to before getting there. <clears throat> so we actually did it. We actually did this about 105,000. Give us 105,000 to loot. I think we just returned these. We didn't even uh, repair our drones, right? Our drones almost dead. Drone's almost dead. <coughs> so we did it. We actually did that mission. Like we said, this isn't the this isn't the hardest mission. This isn't the hardest mission. This is <coughs> there's still a harder mission apparently. Apparently there's a harder one than this. Even harder than this one. So let's just go dock everything, right? We have the drones. We go dock. Turn this in. And then we're going to have to log on to our other characters in like uh, 48 minutes. Get stuff done on them. And then we're uh, almost done the Sisters of Eve. 
So you can't do this in one day. We're not sure if there's a ship restrictions or something. Just uh, all the uh, guides, <coughs> all the guides and everything in here recommends uh, destroyer fits, right? The MR cursor, that's a destroyer. Carburet, that's a destroyer. Catalyst, that's a destroyer. And the Thrasher, that's a destroyer. So just recommend you take uh, destroyer fits for some reason. If we could use, uh, actually use cruisers here, that would actually help out. That would actually make it a lot easier. We also been looking up here, right? The missing peace objectives. Report to her. <coughs> Report to this person. Oh, we have to choose a mission. Oh, is this the uh, final mission? The Glante Harborer. Is this supposed to be an important mission for them? We get to choose. Choose which uh, state we want to get huge faction increases for. Alright. So we can choose one of the different four factions. And this will give us a huge faction increase, static increase for them. We can choose any of the four of them. We can choose Glante or Minimitar or Kaldari or Abar. So I think uh, we've seen about these missions too, right? We were looking for it. If you go to the top here, go to activities, go to journal. This will actually show you all of your missions, right? This offer does not expire. So I'll show you if you have any missions that you might have, uh, <coughs> might have been offered and when they expire and where you can get them. It looks like uh, Sisters of Eve arcs uh, missions never expire. So looks like these ones don't expire. So all we have is uh, the missing piece. So we just have to choose one faction. We have to choose that. <coughs> so I want to check something. So we just lock off at of this station. Go to a different character. I wanted to uh, see something. <coughs> so I wonder if there's uh, any reason to choose any of the other options, because there was a uh, one one branch option before. So here's the uh, Sisters of Eve, right? We gotta do this one. Fifty jumps. So what we wanted to do was go up here. Journal. Agents missions. Okay, so these are career agents, they don't ever expire. So these career agents, we don't have to worry about them expiring. So if we were to ever uh, leave, if we were to leave, go start the Sister of Arc, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to worry about these expire or not. <coughs> we do have to go through our skull tree. We're gonna need to get them some kind of combat. At least some kind of combat to uh, start the Sisters of Eve Arc. I think we just need like uh, a basic frigate should go basic frigate should go through a lot of it. Basic frigate. Maybe the Caldari frigate, Glante frigate. They give you the Glante frigate. It's not sure what we're gonna do. <coughs> do we just uh, go to the destroyer for them? Cause that last mission was pretty hard. That mission was difficult. <coughs> so we check that. So I guess that's the point we're at. How far away is uh, Jitta for this point? <coughs> so what if that's what we're gonna do? Should we, well, they need skill points. We could use those skill points to go towards there. So we know that those missions don't expire or anything. So we have a choice. We know that Jitta is 50 jumps away. So if you ever want to come back here, it's getting 50 jumps. So we have to choose a faction. I think it's uh, Kaldari, right? Kaldari, Minimitar, Amar, Glante. I don't think it matters too much. The other thing about it is that it gives you a positive faction with this, but it uh, doesn't actually give you negative factions with the other with the other factions like the other missions do. Yeah, it's just bothering us that that resets. Because if uh, we're in the middle of a mission, it might uh, screw up or something. So what do we do? Do we pause trading out of here? Or do we keep trading out of here? I'm not sure. <coughs> we'll be back. We'll just uh, record for a bit. We haven't actually uh, recorded for a while. Alright, we're back. So we were looking at this mission a little bit, right? It says uh, the mission is you can choose to help Galate. And then it just says uh, go to one of the persons, right? Go to the Galate person. We can go to the Minotaur person. 
So it's just uh, setting a different destination to talk to a different person, right? Let's just open up the uh, bar commander and tell you to go over here two jumps away. Or we click on the Kalkari commander. Uh, this would be five jumps away. <clears throat> but I imagine this would be closer to the uh, Jetta place, right? So if we uh, were doing it on our alts, we would just go through it quick. Go up to uh, this point, maybe. Maybe choose Kaldari because we want to get the uh, Kaldari race, right? So we accept this one. So we go here. Just go back to this thing. It's uh, interesting to look at this. This is where we are. This is going to be uh, the third last mission. The Kaldari Commander. We're just making sure we're accepting it. We want to go to help the Kaldari. Alright. So we just have to go there. <coughs> I have to go there. So there was like a, a storyline mission where a message popped up. He said, go talk to him. We completed that. That gave us uh, this thing so we could stack everything. This thing. This thing's worth about a million. That gives, uh, what is it? Plus one to memory. It's plus one to memory if you want. So it's uh, a dock. We can undock, fly to the uh, Caldari mission guy, talk to him. Probably that, then he's gonna give us the final mission. So, I guess that's how you get to the final mission in the uh, Sisters of Eve arc. There's not really too much anymore combat or anything. It's just gonna be talking to him, accepting the uh, mission to go defeat him, and maybe we're even uh, 10 jumps from Jinnah or something. That'd be sick. All we have to do is trade up our alt to be able to use a destroyer. And they should be able to go through this actually no problem. <clears throat> then we can save it up. And since we actually uh, found out that those uh, career agents, they don't actually expire. Since the career agents don't expire, maybe we can even uh, save it on our alts until <clears throat> maybe we'll get more higher social skills. I don't know if there's a huge reason to have uh, have all the faction status of all your characters. But let's just uh, come back when we arrive there. We'll see what, the <clears throat> see what he says. See what the Caldari officer says. Alright. So I guess uh, we talked to him, right? We completed that mission. Now we just have the final one. So he's actually flying a raven ship. So it says he's in the system too. This is the final mission, right? So let's just uh, jump through this gate, right? We just have to go talk somewhere. <coughs> Or we could even uh, log out here, right? There's a carousel in here. So I wonder if you uh, can do it in a cruiser. Or if that's uh, uh, not a player owned ship. Oh no, it is a pilot. Carousel is a play for 16 days. Huh. Alright. Because it's just the uh, server shuts down 32 minutes. I don't want it to be like uh we tried to fight him, he killed us. <coughs> we couldn't kill him in downtime, and then we, he has full hit points or something. Or something happens. We don't want to get full hit points again if we almost get him. <coughs> we just need time to get him. It's not sure what we're going to do then. Here's going around. So there is something down here. So I believe if we just go up here, go to activities, go to journal, look at agents. It would show the epic agent uh, counters up here. So for it does not expire. Then we can just uh, set destination, right? Start conversation. Then we can just uh, set destination. Alright. So just talk up at this station. <coughs> talk up at this station. Log on the other character. Do something on him for a bit. When well, that's done, the uh, next day has begun. <coughs> that the next day has begun. So be uh, day three. That's all right. So you can see it here. You can trade, clock to destroy three. By the time we're uh, fighting him, that's going to be leveled up. Connections will go up. So all you have to do is go up here. We can go log off. Switch to a different character. Then we can just do some career agents on them. <coughs> we got to eventually just get him up to a destroyer. Get him up to a destroyer so they can start that mission. So they can start the Sister of Arc. So they can start that. We can level them up in the uh, skilling spree, right? That's the idea. They get the uh, skilling spree. 30 minutes. They'll be able to kill an NPC and get skill points. 
So we're not actually going to be able to fly this thing, right? We need the, uh, Cutlery Frigate skill to be able to use it. This one. So we won't be able to fly any of the frigates. So you just go through the business, the business, industry, military. Looks like this guy's almost done everything. Civilian salvager, industry, he's going to tell us to make this. Sure, we can make that. So all we do is go to the industry. Go to the industry, go to blueprints. So how to make it. So probably I would have been a better idea to do our other alt. Because I think uh, he's done less. I think he's done less of these. But that'll be done in 10 minutes. And if there's something we can do. So you can talk to him and kill them. So we just have this uh, ship that's it. We just have a Corvette. We just have the Corvette. I think we probably could do it, right? We can fit that on here. So it says all we have to do is go destroy the pirates. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it before 29 minutes. That's right. Actually, we can fly this thing, right? We can fly the Venture. We don't have drones. <coughs> we don't have drones, though. So let's do it in here. This ship should be fine. We don't need a miner. We just throw a civilian salvager on here. And then we just have to go do that quick. We have to go do it before the server shuts down. So how far is that place? <coughs> so maybe we'll uh, come back after the server shut down. It'll be like, uh, this is the next day. So this was doing uh, most of these sashes things. This thing's like five jumps away. Five jumps. So we'll come back uh, next time. We'll be the next day. Next time will be the next day. We'll end this video. So we did a whole bunch of uh, Sisters of Ark. We learned everything about it. If you've never done Sisters of Ark before, might as well go try it out. It's actually a little bit difficult in some of the missions, but once you figure it out, you'll learn that. It's probably a good thing to do. <coughs> it's probably a good thing to do on all your characters. Probably right after you do the career agents.